It is drought devastation unlike anywhere else in the state. Tonight, we return to Tulare County where wells are going dry every day and many are struggling to survive without water in the Central Valley. We found conditions are even more desperate now with people stealing water from their neighbors. New tonight, our CBS 13's Nick Jeans is live in the newsroom with who's stepping in to help. And of course, you were there for us just a few weeks ago, Nick. That's right, uh, Sam and Christina, and we went back. You know, you may remember in our drought series, we told you about this company in the Bay Area with the devices that make water out of air. Well, that company saw our first story down in Tulare County, and they reached out to me, and they said they wanted to do something to help. So this past Tuesday, we all took a trip to the Central Valley, finding reasons for hope, but also some eye-opening reminders of a county in crisis. Last week, we had a good uh, donation of water. With so many people so desperately in need, so many hundreds without water. Pastor Roman Hernandez's donated drinking water is almost always in short supply. It's all over the county, all over the valley, but this is the worst of the worst. They side of Porterville. It's hard to imagine, but the Thule River used to supply some of the wells around here that have long since run dry in this riverbed turned dumping ground. There isn't a single drop of water to be found. On this day, working next to community showers in his Porterville Church parking lot in the drought's hardest hit area in the state, Pastor anxious. It's gonna help. It's gonna help a lot, you know. Awaiting a delivery he believes will make a difference. Today's a good day. You know, we, we don't get too many days around here, you know, lately. Is that them? Bay Area Company Ecolo Blue is in Tulare County. Dexter? Hey. How you doing, sir? No, 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 no. My name is Roman. How are you? I'm good. How are you? The company is donating an atmospheric water generator. A device that makes purified drinking water from the humidity in air. Oh, wow. I never seen nothing like that before. This unit makes up to eight gallons a day, a drop in the bucket. In a community with more than 1,000 people without water, still as the pastor Andy Colo Blue say, it is something. I was thinking that uh, even people from the community, you know, can bring their own jugs, you know, and just fill them with water, you know. I'm not going to tell you we're going to be the and all be all, but we can definitely help. It is even more dire in unincorporated East Porterville than last time we were here. Wells are running dry at an alarming rate. Tulare County buys and trucks in water to refill tanks in people's front yards. In a sign of increasing desperation, some have resorted to stealing bottled water from their neighbors. So I got another one. This woman says thieves ripped off the water pump hooked up to her tank. I was sad and I was mad, she says, because I needed my pump to wash my clothes and for showers. Thankfully, the county replaced it. What we're seeing here is we're seeing people in, re in really desperate situations. Andrew Lockman with Tulare Office of Emergency Services says some go to nearby communities that have water and just help themselves. Somehow this community of you know, 15,000 people went through three times as much water without growing at all. So people are going and taking water. Yeah, so we have people taking water. We have um, just all sorts of crazy stuff going on. With water so scarce, Lockman says Tulare County is taking a look at atmospheric water generators, an expensive but emerging drought-beating technology. Essentially, you're going to get 99.9% .9 pure water. Ecolo Blue's much larger industrial units can produce up to 2,500 gallons a day, but the trouble is the energy required to run them. Lockman says it's actually cheaper to truck water in than it is to operate atmospheric water generators on a large scale. Still, he says the county is keeping its options open. It is an expensive option, certainly, where you have no other options available. Um, cost really becomes less and less of a factor. The eventual goal is a centralized water system to serve 1,700 properties in the county. But that'll take five to 10 years, Lockman says, and $60 million. Where's that money going to come from? Right now, we don't know. For now, the county will keep buying water. As you may remember, the city of Porterville, with its relatively stable supply, first turned the county down. And I heard they actually clapped because we didn't get water out here. I don't understand that. I just don't understand it. Now, the city of Porterville has agreed to sell enough water to fill the county's tanks for a month. As Pastor Hernandez says, finding water here is an ever-evolving struggle. So I'll try it. 
very good water. But for him, today is a good day. I thank you for this one. Well, we just want to help, and I bless you guys. Well, since our first story in Tulare County aired, the pastor has heard from churches in our region. They are offering to send some water down to him, and there is even talk of a new trailer that has washing machines and a kitchen. As the pastor says, they will take anything, all the help that they can Boy, get. Boy, I can believe that. They mm. need it. Okay, Nick, thanks very much for that update.